exercise 1.1 question number 2 show that any positive odd integers is of the form 6 q plus 1 or 6 q plus 3 or 6 q plus 5 where q is some integer so by using Euclid's division lemma which says given positive integer integer a and b there exist unique integer q and r satisfying a is equal to bq plus r where r ranges from 0 to less than b so considering our question b will be 6 so r ranges from 0 to less than 6 or we can say r is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 therefore a is equal to 6 q or 6 q plus 1 or 6 q plus 2 or 6 q plus 3 or 6 q plus 4 or 6 q plus 5 so considering 6 q plus 1 this can be written as 2 into 3 q plus 1 let's say 3 q is equal to k1 so this will become 2 k1 plus 1 where k1 is a positive integer now considering 6q plus 3 this can be written as 6q plus 2 plus 1 this can be written as 2 into 3 q plus 1 plus 1 let's put 3 q plus 1 is equal to k2 we will get 2 k2 plus 1 where k2 is an integer Now considering 6q plus 5, this can be written as 6q plus 4 plus 1, putting this in bracket, this can be written as 2 into 3q plus 2 plus 1, putting k3 instead of 3q plus 2 we will get 2k3 plus 1 
where k3 is an integer now considering these three we can clearly say 6q plus 1 and 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5 is in the form of 2k plus 1 from above we can clearly say that six q plus one six q plus two and six q sorry this will be six q plus three and six q plus five are in the form of two K plus one where K is an integer. Therefore, six Q plus one, six Q plus three, and six Q plus five are not exactly. divisible by 2 hence these expressions of numbers are odd numbers and therefore any odd numbers or odd integers can be expressed in the form of 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 